Hello, everybody. It's the next day. I, the more I thought about this last night. Oh, by the way, welcome back to EC Hobby Machine and Wood Shop. Which I'm machining. I've been doing that for 32 years. Woodworking, that's my hobby. <laughs> but hey, that's what it is. This is my hobby shop at home. Okay, what I've done here, I thought about this last night, and I think I messed up. With this being on a radius, and my threads coming in, I don't think my nipples are going to airtight, going to go in and be airtight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and put a flat on this, and then come back and try to straighten those threads up. I hope I don't mess this part up. It's really neat. I'm tired of swapping out air hoses every time I want to use something. Same as this. I'm going to put a flat on these, set up, run a mill. I'm just going to flatten it off to this side here. This side over here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to you know, not take it way down. I'm just going to make a flat here. This here, I'm just going to knock off the high side. So it's just flat across here. And then the same on this side. I'm just going to take it down a little bit past this side here. Then I'm going to run the tap back through them. Make sure the thread's in there. Then I'm going to take the test piece and stick it in. See how it's going to work. So y'all just bear with me. i got to reset the mill up. So y'all just bear with me. See how it goes from here. All right, get back with you. All right, when I touched off. I got to turn the camera on. When I touched off, I'm gonna take down, take 50,000 off. To start with, and I'm gonna see what it looks like. And my flat looks good. Another 30. A total of 80,000 per side. So touch off. There you go. I like that better. Now we're going to set up. We are going to set it up. That's good. Now I'm going to set up and do that flat. Alright. Okay. Let's wipe this off here. Okay. Alright. I'm going to set this up here. Nying, 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 nying. There you go. What y'all think about that? Just leave your comments in below. Let me know. I, I know. Oh, son of a bitch. Oops, excuse me. Somebody done killed my deer. Alright. Let's get over here. And get busy. Closer right there, lock her down, turn this, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go. It looks like about the same on each side. Come down. Let's y'all. This. I know it's going to be more on both either end. We go 50 first. Didn't do it, did it, man? Well, it looks like I'm looking at about hundred off each side. up in my camera. Touch off, I took off two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> now we go to the other hole. Looks pretty decent to me. Let's go to the other hole. Line this one up the same way. There you go. Let's move the camera. Right here. How's this? I'm gonna get me, gotta build me some stuff. I'm gonna have to go to the scrapyard and find me some metal. I can find some, or order some off the line on, from eBay or something. Some aluminum. I need to build me some stuff so I can. Attached to my mighty mags and stuff my cameras to my mighty mag. Because this is getting aggravating. 
I hate to say it, these little stands. I could put them. See? I just bumped that. So I could take one and magnetize right here with the camera sitting here. I can go over here because I use ion cameras right now until I can find something else. I'm going to order something off of, order one off of eBay and try it out. And if it works, I'm going to get about four more. But right now, So I use these cameras here. These cameras right here. Ion Air Pro. They're water resistant, watertight, as long as your back end cap is on and closed with no cracks in it and locked on. It seals up. You can hook this to your phone to see where it's pointing. I don't ever do that. I just eyeball it and look. And they've got wide angle lenses, so. Why you got to do that? You ain't got to aim it. But that's the ones I use. They're great for uh, hunting. I use them hunting, fishing, on the boat, underwater. As long as they don't got a crack on them, they work fine. I picked them up pretty good at first on eBay. I started buying them on eBay. and uh, But the company discontinued this style. Now they make something different. And boy, the price of these things skyrocketed on eBay. So let's get back to milling with advertising. Get my camera back where I need it. And there you go. They last for about two and a half hours on battery charge up. So I don't try to run them all at one time. But I got three of them. There you go. That time I took a hundred at a time.
like I said, I just, it's a small hobby shop. That's what I got. You know, it's nothing spectacular like some people's got. I'm just in a wooden shed. And uh, I've had the shed for, hell, 20 years now. But I just recently bought my meal. That's my meal. And there's my lay. Now, I had, I've cleaned up a little bit. You see on my first video what the shot looked like. Maybe my second video I'm posting, hopefully today. Uh, not this video, I'm making this block, but another one. But uh, I've kind of cleaned up a lot in here since those two videos moved stuff around. Move some stuff around, so we'll see how it goes from here. Okay, so I could, I'd like to have some small jobs, you know, meal jobs, small meal jobs, small, uh, you know, making small parts would be fine with me. I'd love to do that. It'd give me back to, well, support my supplies. All right. I get back with you in a minute. I'm going to deburr this thing, check it, see if the taps work right, and see if it'll seal. Get back with you later. One of these days, I might have to get me a spinner wrench for this. I'm tired of trying to hold it with uh, channel locks. I'm afraid I'm going to guard it all up. Little machine shop. They have got some. Woo! Will you tie my pad? Shipping on it and everything else. I'm looking at fifty something dollars just for a wrench For this I ain't a 28 millimeter. I think that's what it is I'm not sure I have to check and see again, but that's what it is. That's a little rough I'm gonna set up I'm gonna put my hose right there And over there one just to mount it to the wall. I'm gonna use my Table, table drill press. And that thing right there. Just to drill those holes. It's just a through hole. So, bear with me. I'll get you back when I get everything together. Okay, I'm going to use these screws here. Old wood screws because I'm going in a wood wall. That's long enough. See that there's long enough to go through there. I'm going to countersink it and make it look decent and stuff. Then I'm going to put it, mount it over there and put air, hook the air to it. Check and make sure all this is going to work. So, I measured this so to clear this, it's a 1364 drill. So, we're going to see if I got it. We're going to see if I got a 1364. I think that's aimed right. Alright, let's get set up here to drill my hose. I think I might need a center drill. See, I got one in my drawer. Yeah, I got one right here. Got one in my drawer. Let's uh, center drill it first. Well, I've had this thing for years. Kids bought it for me. I'm fussing one day out here because.
I didn't have a drill press. He had part of the fussing. I'm Christmas, this is what I got. You got room, much room in this shop. I have a floor model. It'd be kind of nice to get one, but I don't know where I'd put it. You have to be put somewhere where I have to move everything out of the way. Every time I turn around. So, but hey, I've done a lot of work off this machine. A lot of work. This little booger here. Set it up. A bunch of vacuum lines over here, so when I come over here, I can just hook up. nephew likes playing in the shop and come out here with him I'll filter on something I mostly clean up after him because boy he makes a mess sometimes can't get a new chuck for it for some reason Hold the water down. Got a jake and check on it, I think. No. I can put one on there. That's ready to go. Okay. I got it done. So far. Just got to do the airlines and all that stuff. And, uh, we'll continue with that once I get over and get all hooked up. Get set up. Bring you back later. Thank you.